before this video starts i just want to thank you guys for 1000 subscribers also since we hit 1000 subscribers i have a free sample pack down below full of sounds i've used in previous tutorials and more and all you have to do is drag and drop the sample into fl studio and you can play it however you like with all that said let's get into the video start by setting the bpm to around 90. go ahead and grab kick snares and claps to give your drums some variation, you can add a unique drum pattern to every 4 bars. You could get something like this. For the second half of the drop, you can start to add in some rides. For the chords, try to use 7th and 9th chords. For my chord progression, it consists of 2 major chords and 2 minor chords. For the last chord, which is G major, I decided to take down the A, which is the 9th in this case. It creates some dissonance, but it fits well with this chord. Now that you have your chords, go ahead and apply these to your super souls. Here are some sounds you may want to use. I've also added this top super saw layer lead, which complements very well with the super saws. In this track, there are three bass layers the sub bass, mid bass, and flangus bass. Here's what the processing looks like on the bass. For the second half of the drop, I added this little lead. I've also added this arp to fill up some space in the back. For the intro and the build up, I decided to go for a more orchestral and euphoric style. For this track, I have also added vocals. So for the processing, I've added an EQ first and I cutted the low ends and boosted some highs to get some air. Then some reverb to give it some space, a compressor, and then hyperdimension with serum effects. And for all of the layers, there's a slight variation to this processing. Also add effects such as down filters, risers, and white noise. If there was two of us left in this world, would you say wait for me, wait for me?